Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Saturday, August 22nd. I'm David Lehman, the Bishop of Caledonia, and I'm on the traditional and unceded territory of the Shimshan people, for which I'm most grateful. As our worship uh, begins on page 722 of the Book of Common Prayer, I invite you to pause and be still and and, and just be in the presence of God for a moment as we come into worship. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 134, found on page 504. Psalm 134, page 504. We shall say the psalm together. Behold now, praise the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, ye that by night stand in the house of the Lord, even in the courts of, our, of the house of our God. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary, and praise the Lord. The Lord that hath made heaven and earth give thee blessing out of Zion. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the Gospel of John, beginning in the sixth chapter at the 41st verse. Then the Jews began to complain about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They were saying, Is this not the Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I have come down from heaven. Jesus answered them, Do not complain among yourselves. No one can come to me unless drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise that person up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, And they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the, for the life of the world is my flesh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our worship continues on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together the Te Luctus Antitruminum. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wanted favour thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasies, tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost in thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye, hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ 
and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried, he descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language nearest our hearts, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. On the top of page 726 we say together, We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us, Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. The Collect for this week. Let thy merciful ears, O Lord, be open to the prayers of thy humble servants, and that they may obtain their petitions, make them to ask such things as shall please thee. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who at this evening hour didst rest in the sepulchre and didst thereby sanctify the grave to be a bed of hope to thy people, make us so to abound in sorrow for our sins, which were the cause of thy passion, that when our bodies lie in the dust, 
our souls may live with thee, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chance of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to bring before God your prayers and petitions for this day, for those people and situations that are in your hearts and minds. We pray this night for all who are suffering in, uh, with health issues, for those suffering from the coronavirus, and all others suffering with all sorts of ailments and conditions, for those needing surgeries, treatments and procedures, that all may be kept safe uh, from uh, further illness and brought to wholeness and healing, that the medical workers that have care of them may take every precaution and, and, uh, and be kept safe themselves. We pray for all who suffer this evening uh, from addiction, particularly those in the opioid crisis, as borders are closed and drugs are cut with various things and that uh, the clean drugs are not as available as they once were. Uh, we pray for uh, the choices that they have and for their safety. We pray for those suffering from mental health issues, especially anxiety, and for how this, these days uh, that has increased and made worse. Pray for those who find it difficult to be alone and for those who are isolated and, uh, find, and, and are in need of social gatherings and, and people. That as they go to meet their needs that they do so with safety and, and, and um, following the protocols that have been laid out for us. We pray for the church as we prepare to gather tomorrow for in-person worship in many communities that uh, we can do so with a sense of peace and belonging and excitement to, to be together but while also observing the distance and and um, and and being able to be together and yet distanced we pray for those who will lead the services tomorrow that they will be inspired to lead their communities and, um, and be um, able to do it within the confines and the restrictions that we have and, and find ways to be creative and inspiring uh, without some of the traditional tools that we have. And so we pray for all clergy and lay leaders uh, as they work, lead worship tomorrow. We pray for all uh, who are grieving especially this day, thinking of those whose families are haunted by the murdered and missing Indigenous women and girls and not knowing the story of what happened to their loved ones and praying for all who um, are, uh, grieve otherwise and cannot give the public voice their grief would normally have as we mourn in these days. We pray for families and for those on vacation and for those trying to, to do new and innovative things in these days that all may find times of rest, recreation, and, and family joy. So I invite you to pray uh, for those who are on your hearts and minds, sharing in the comments box as I believe you've done and for uh, or in your hearts as we offer our general intercession. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, and bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us and those that hate us, 
and those that have desired us and worthy as we are to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the help of the, the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard the prayers, grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now I invite you to share your thanksgivings and praises for this day, for those wonderful moments in which you've seen God active in your life and in the world around you. I am always excited week by week to see the growing return of the farmer's market across the street from me uh, on Saturdays and to see that again today and to, to be able to, to uh, quickly go through it and, and take in all the, the bounty of the earth that is coming forth at this time of the year. And, and even in this weird weather that we're having here now in Terrace, that there is uh, so much to enjoy and partake in. Uh, so I'm thankful that I'm thankful for uh, the, the uh, all the people who are preparing for worship tomorrow, knowing that there are many volunteers that are helping come in and, and prepare buildings and such and to take care of things. Um, and so we pray for all those and, and I give thanks for their willingness and dedication to that. So we offer our thanksgiving. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank Thee for all Thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety, for power to work and leisure to rest, and for all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men and women, we praise and magnify Thy holy name. But above all, we thank Thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace in believing, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue back on page 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless and preserve you this night and indeed forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me this evening and for uh, being the community of God together, although apart over many miles. It is exciting uh, to, to be able to come together in this way at the end of the day and, and have our holy hug and then go off to bed. Tomorrow, if you are able to join a community where you're at and experience live in-person worship, we encourage you to do so, being safe, uh, wearing a face mask, uh, using hand sanitizer, keep physically distancing six feet, or as one would say, at least one bishop apart. Um, that is, uh, 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 you yeah, know, please do so. If you're not able to do that, uh, please join us online at 10 a.m. here on Facebook. Or if you know people who uh, have questions and queries about or reservations about Facebook, we're also on YouTube and Vimeo. And you just need to go in and search for the Diocese of Caledonia. And the services will be live at, 11 at 10 o'clock on those two platforms as well. Uh, otherwise... I'll be back tomorrow evening to join you in a service of Compline, and I pray that you have a restful night, enjoy in the morning, and we will see you later on. Nighty night.